circle chord and arc module one in this video we'll study about circles properties of circles we'll see what are the basic definitions of circles and chord first let us start with the basic definition or the basic meaning of what is radius of a circle so radius of a circle is usually denoted by the small letter r a line segment connecting the center of a circle to any point on the circle itself is called as a radius the radius of the circle is usually denoted by small r or at times it is also denoted by the capital letter r so as the definition says it is the line joining the center of the circle to any point on the circle so in this particular figure o r or this line is the radius of the circle let us see next what is the diameter of a circle a line segment having both the end points on the circle is called as the diameter of the circle so in this particular figure if you see both of the end points are on the circle are touching the circle hence it is called as a diameter of the circle one point to keep in mind the diameter of the circle it's twice the length of the radius so we have a very simple formula to find out the diameter that is diameter is equal to 2r from the diameter the radius of the circle also can be obtained by the very simple formula diameter is half of the radius is half of the diameter that is r is equal to d upon 2 next let us see what is a chord a chord is a line segment that join two distant points of the circle a straight line that intersects a circle in two points that will be called as the secant line so in this particular figure if you see a chord it touches the circle at two distant points that segment so a line segment that touches a circle in two distant point is called as a chord a line segment that intersects the circle okay so for example this blue line if you see it is intersecting the circle into two distant points that is called as a secant let us see what is the difference between the secant and chord so the first very important point of difference is a secant it intersects the circle at two points while chord it only touches the circle at two point if you look in the figure the green line is a chord and a chord only touches a circle at two different points while the secant intersects the circle in two points a secant is drawn from outside the circle so we start from outside the circle while a chord only lies inside the circle a perpendicular drawn from the center of a circle to its chord bisects the chord this is a very important property which we will be using in solving our sums so if you see the circle with center o and ap is the chord and a perpendicular is drawn from the center of the circle to the chord so this perpendicular op which is drawn from the center of the circle to the chord ap it will bisect the chord meaning it will divide my chord into two equal parts second point if you see the line segment joining the center of the circle and the midpoint of its chord is perpendicular to the chord so this property is a complete inverse of the first property so this says if a line segment joins the center of the chord to the center of the circle then this line segment will be perpendicular to the chord so these two properties are very much inverse of each other so the first property says 
if the line segment joining the center of the circle is perpendicular to the chord, then that segment will divide your chord into two equal parts or in simple words, bisects the chord. The second property says, if the line segment joins the midpoint of the segment to, and the center of the circle, then this line segment OP will be perpendicular to the chord. Keeping these two properties in mind, let us move to practice set 17.1. The first question it says, in a circle with center P, chord AP is drawn of length 13 centimeters. Segment PQ is perpendicular to chord AB, then find the length of QB. So it is said that AB is a chord and the length of AB is 13 centimeters. And this circle has center P and PQ is perpendicular to chord AB. They have asked you to find the length of QB. Let us start with the solution. P is the center of the circle that is mentioned in the question. AB is 13, that is the length of the chord. Segment PQ is perpendicular to chord AB. It's given in the question. Now we'll use the property. The property that we just studied that says perpendicular drawn from the center of the circle to the chord bisects the chord. So as we see, PQ is perpendicular to AB. So PQ will bisect AB. So length of QB will be half of length AB. So that is half of 13 or 13 divided by 2, which will give you 6.2 centimeters. So length of QB is 6.2. Let us do the second question of practice set 17.1. It says radius of a circle with center O is 25 centimeters. Find the distance of the chord from the center if the length of the chord is 48 centimeters. So if you see the length of the chord in the question, it is given 48 centimeters. We have to find the distance of the chord from the center of the circle. That means we have to find length of OP. Let us start with the solution. Perpendicular drawn from the center of the circle to the chord bisects the chord. So we will use this particular property. So first, since OP is bisecting the chord CD, so we can say that length of PD will be half of CD. That means half of 48. So 48 divided by 2 or half of 48 is 24 centimeters. Hence from here we can conclude that the length of PD is 24 centimeters. Now look carefully in triangle OPD. Observe the figure. In triangle OPD, angle P is a 90 degree angle. Now as it is a 90 degree angle, we can apply the Pythagoras' theorem. So Pythagoras theorem says that OP square plus PD square will be equal to OD square as OD is the hypotenuse and OP and PD are sides of the right angle triangle. Now we need to find length of OP. We know length of PD and we know the length of OD. Substituting the values PD is 24, so 24 square equal to OD, that is the radius of the circle is 25, so 25 square. Rearranging this, so we have OP square is equal to 25 square minus 24 square. And we know that the square of 25 is 625 and the square of 24 is 576. Subtracting them, we get 49. And taking the square root on both the sides, we get OP to be 7 centimeters. So length of OP is 7. Or in other words, we can say that the distance of the chord from the center of the circle is 7 centimeters. Hence, the distance of the chord CD from the center O is 7. Let us move on to question number 3. It says O is the center of the circle. Find the length of the radius if the chord of length 24 centimeters is at a distance of 9 centimeters from the center of the circle. 
Now, if you observe this particular figure, it's just given AB is 24 centimeters and distance of the cord from the center, that is this length is nine centimeters. Let us start with finding the solution. So first we will join O and A. So we'll join OA and as you know, OA will be the radius of the circle, which we have to calculate. Now let the perpendicular drawn from the point O to the chord AB be P. That means this point. If you observe the figure, let it be point P. Now we know that the perpendicular drawn from the center of the circle to the chord will bisect the chord. So AP will be half of AB. So it will be AB is 24. So half of 24 will be 12. So length of AP is 12 centimeters. Now carefully if you observe the triangle OPA angle P is 90 degree and hence we can use the Pythagoras theorem which will say that OP square plus AP square will be equal to OA square. Substituting the values of OP and AP, so OP is 9, so 9 square plus AP is 12, so 12 square equal to OA square. 9 square is 81 and 12 square is 144 and 81 plus 144 will give you 225. And when you take the square root on both the sides, you get OA to be 15 centimeters. So we can finally conclude that the radius of the circle is 15 centimeters. Hence the radius is 15. Let us move to question number four of your practice set 17.1. Now question four says that C is the center of the circle whose radius is 10 centimeters. Find the distance of the cord from the center if the length of the cord is 12. Now, if you carefully look, radius that is CA is 10 centimeters and length of the cord is 12 centimeters. They have asked us to find out the distance of the cord from the center. That means we have to find length CD. Let us start with the solution. C is the center of the circle as it is mentioned in the question. Radius is equal to 10 centimeters. Let the cord be AB and the length of the cord AB is given that is 12. Distance of the cord, distance of the center to the cord AB is CD. So CD is perpendicular to cord AB. And as we know, the property perpendicular drawn from the center of the circle to the chord will bisect the chord. So AD will be half of AB and AB is 12. And as we know, half of 12 is 6 centimeters. Now, if you carefully observe the triangle ACD, angle D is 90 degrees. So we will apply the Pythagoras theorem, which is CD square plus AD square equal to AC square. Substituting the value of AD and AC, AD is six, so six square and AC is 10, so 10 square. So we have CD square plus six is 36. The square of six is 36 and the square of 10 is 100. Simplifying this, so we'll get 100 minus 36, that is 64. Taking the square root, we get CD is equal to 8 centimeters. Hence, we can say that the distance of the cord from the center is 8 centimeters. Thank you. That's it for this video. In the next video, we'll study about the arc of the circle.